Hey, Hebrew fans! So, I got this huge behemoth box in the mail from Amazon. And believe it or not, this is the new Batcave. Now, I cannot believe how well this is packed. It's amazing. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys enjoy the music as we do a quick montage of me opening it. So this Batcave is pretty cool. Let's see it full of action figures. And you can see there's the weapons on the wall and how it looks. And the 80s figures all coming in to uh, attack. And look at the cage. The cage can hold multiple figures in there and still have room. It's huge and cool. And look how comfortable Skeletor looks sitting on the throne. And this throne chair is made just for these type of legs. So that people can sit in it and look natural even though they're actually standing and just kind of lean back a little bit. Way cool playset. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the other side of this, the entrance. So we go and close this up. And before we get to the front, let's look at the back. Now the back has this really cool window, kind of a circular window. Um, I imagine you could probably put the bat light shining out of it or something if you wanted to. It's just kind of a really cool design. I think they did a great job on this uh, actual thing and they got a cool little uh, hole on top you can a little place to put your figure you can put Batman looking over and the door on this thing is just huge I'm surprised that uh, this thing did not sell better they have these 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 uh, little blue flames here and my friend Brian is actually planning on putting LEDs inside his so that's kind of a cool touch so let's go and talk about this helmet this helmet actually comes off the, the fighting dummy and it doesn't fit very good on a lot of these figures. It looks on the classics, doesn't quite work. But what's interesting though, is I grabbed the Wonder Woman that's made for the set, and that helmet just fit perfectly on her head. Her hair just actually had a clip right in the place. I was surprised how well it fit. All right, so all in all, this is a really cool playset. I would suggest if you guys have the opportunity to get one, I would uh, purchase it just to use as backdrops or whatever else you want to do. In fact, uh, look at some of these cool camera angles and these figures in front. I mean, they just look really cool with the things you can do with this castle. And as you saw earlier, it's huge. It's the same size as the old 80s Castle Grayskull. It's pretty big. So here's one last shot of the interior coming through the front. 
and uh, it really is a fun kind of thing. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. Thanks, Brian, for the suggestion.